My drug of choice became ketamine, which is in fact a horse tranquilizer. Shit. <laughs> Did you get that by hanging around stables? Because you, know, you, do seem, you do seem quite posh. I can imagine you in wellies and one of those sleeveless anoraks. Mm. <laughs> the technical name for that is actually a gillette. No, that's a razor. <laughs> Could have done that for the crackling. <laughs> have you ever shaved your crackling? Um, yes, ketamine. Yeah, why give drugs to a horse? Why drag them into it? They use ketamine to tranquilise the horse and then to extract the horse's semen. How do they do that? I don't know, in the same way that you would a human being. Well, send him into a cubicle with magazines. <laughs> They've got hooves, for goodness sake. Four of them. It'd take some doing, but I can't see it. I think we've strayed somewhat from, from the topic. I think it's interesting that you both obviously have addictive personalities. Mm. Clearly, in your case, it was drugs. In your mm. case, Alan, it was chocolate. Yes, specifically Toblerone. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I would wake up in the middle of the night and uh, eat an entire Toblerone. <laughs> and I don't, mean, I don't mean a small one. I mean a medium-sized one. <laughs> in fact, in the best chapter in my book, I talk about when I gorged on Toblerone and drove to Dundee in my bare feet. <laughs> say chocolate addiction is never going to be as destructive as drug addiction. What's her book like? Excuse me, I really don't like being referred to as her. All right, what's his book like? <laughs> I don't know your name. Tara Peter Frampton Double Barrel Shotgun Kensington on the Horse. You really have got a lot of issues. Yeah, of what car magazine? <laughs> um, that's something of a first on prayer wave. <laughs> Never had anybody walk out before. Yes, I think the atmosphere has turned rather sour. Uh, <laughs> yes, let's see if we can smooth things over with a little bit more from Monteverdi's Vespers. Good band. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on the show, Alan. Slightly more exciting than I'd anticipated. Yes. Oh, sorry, can I introduce you? This is uh, my PA, Lynn. Hello. You must be a guest on my show sometime, yes. So we, we discuss issues, um, Europe, Conspiracy theories, what happens if you just eat crisps, <laughs> things like that. Mm, that sounds interesting, actually. We're, we're currently revamping this show. Um, I'm actually looking for a co-presenter at the moment, so oh. it'd be quite interesting to talk to you about some of those ideas. You know I'm, I'm the producer of the show as well oh, as the no. presenter. Oh, no. That's interesting, isn't it? I didn't know who you are, and, and yet I still got in with you. Mm. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to say, I am so a Christian. Well, it's not a prerequisite for being on the programme. <laughs> Come on. But, uh, no, really, it's more to do with our family remit. Mm. Well, I love families, you know. I used to have one. But it left me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this one's a Baptist, yes. Uh, Lynn's being uh, submerged this week for her sins, literally. But you're welcome to come along. Oh. How wonderful. Have you been preparing for it for a long time? Uh, oh, yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking to me it becomes fused with the Holy Spirit. It's quite extraordinary. Shall we make tracks? <laughs> yeah.